Hey, there is a simply better way to do color grading in DaVinci Resolve and you will learn it in this video. I'll show you how you can match all cameras together, for example making your footage look like it was shot on Ari Alexa, then how to color grade like your footage is raw even if your camera doesn't shoot raw video, we'll fix white balance and exposure with a push of a button and I'll promise you that your color grading will get much better and faster. So this better way of color grading is based on the Academy Color Encoding System, also known as ACES. This is a color grading system that they use, for example, at Marvel Studios and at many Netflix shows and more and more movies are made with ACES. The full ACES workflow is rather complicated because it's meant for Hollywood level productions, but there is a way to use the system in much easier way. This simple way to color grade is called ACES Lite and as a disclaimer, I need to emphasize that this is different from the official ACES workflow to some degree. This method is developed by me and I'm not associated with the Academy. They kind of threaten to sue me if I don't say this. I'm going to show you this way in DaVinci Resolve now, so are you ready? So in DaVinci Resolve, the main idea in ACES is to bring all cameras different color profiles into one and the same color space, making them behave and look the same. So your mirrorless camera, footage and Auri Alex are now similar. To do that, you don't need to change anything in the software settings. Let's just use these nodes. There is many ways of bringing your footage into ACES color space. By the way, the word color space, color profile, picture profile, color standards, these are all basically synonyms. Um, you can do the transform with the official ACES transform plugin that comes natively with Resolve. Here we choose the input transform based on your camera of choice. My footage is shot on the GH5 and in Vlog, so the closest supported profile is for the Panasonic Varicam V35. It's not calibrated for the GH5, but this is the closest we can get with this tool. Then we have many color spaces in ACES to choose from. In this video, I won't explain these, but choose, choose the ACES CCT and we are good to go. But we can do better because ACES transform are made mostly for the high-end cinema cameras. These won't work as well with mirrorless cameras like Panasonic, Sony or Canon cameras. For these more common cameras, it's better to use input device transform LUTs that are calibrated for these cameras exactly. For that, I have created a library of LUT files supporting many, many cameras that are not supported in the official ACES input device transform list. There is so many of these. Virtually all of the at least half decent video cameras are supported. So let's change our node into LUT based node that is made exactly for the GH5. Now our footage is properly transformed into ACES CC color space. ACES CCT color space actually. So now what? To deliver our footage to the internet, we need to transform it into Rec 709, uh, also known as BT709 or ITU709. This is a color space, the standard for internet delivery nowadays. Um, but in the future, when we start using HDR more, uh, we'll be using different uh, color spaces for that. And there is a tutorial coming about that in this, in this channel, so subscribe uh, to see that. And if you, well, you know how to subscribe to the channel. Do that now. Okay, to do the Rec. 709 transform in this ACES uh, workflow, we'll add a node and add the ACES transform effect into it. Now we choose ACES CCT as our input device transform and Rec. 709 as our output transform. And now we have properly managed our colors and our footage is ready for delivery. But we can do so much more. Um, first of all, the output, output device transform that we used is not the most flattering one. Unfortunately, in the official ACES transform, uh, we don't have any options of, uh, to change how our footage looks. Uh, luckily, the LUT library that I have created has us covered. We can choose different Rec. 709 transforms from it. For example, a high contrast look, but for this case, I want to use this LUT that is based on the Ari Log C LUT, giving us, uh, giving our footage some of that Ari magic. Now our footage looks very flat, 
but that's perfect for color grading. So let's add some contrast with the curves tool. This is superior for adding contrast because you can really hone in the look that you want. This looks much better, but we can go even further. Let's make this footage look like it was shot on analog film. For that, we'll add a film emulation LUT just before the contrast LUT because film emulation works best for flat footage. In the library, I have a folder full of film emulation LUTs for this purpose. Let's choose this one because it just looks great. And with only four nodes, we created a professional look for our footage. Let's move on and let me show you what else can you do. Let's copy the grade for, for the second clip as well, but something is wrong. It looks wrong. This clip looks so much darker because I accidentally shot this with much lower exposure. But no worries, we can, uh, with ACES, we can accurately fix exposure with the simple offset wheel, just like we would have if we would have shot our footage in RAW. Let's add a node between our ACES sandwich, turn up the exposure with the offset wheel and done, our clips match perfectly together. How about this one? The white balance is off. Can we fix this with ACES? Yes, we can. Let's do the same thing. And, and I will add a node inside our ACES sandwich. This time, let's lower our gain a bit to make it a bit less sensitive. And let's find our correct white balance and we are done. We can really color correct our footage like it would be raw, but only in ACES and only if we have accurately calibrated our input device transforms. So either shoot with some high-end cinema cameras or use my cali calibrated input LUTs for your mirrorless cameras. There is so much more than we can do in ACES Lite. And actually, I have created a full color grading course called ACES Lite. This course has the LUT library that we used in this video. It has support for virtually all of the at least half decent video cameras on the market. And I'm doing new ones uh, based on your requests and if I can get my hands on that camera. In addition, it has a growing list of film emulation and creative look LUTs, but the course is so much more than just a LUT pack. It's a full color grading course that's beginner friendly, but will gradually deep dive you into advanced color theory. The best part of the course is that I will teach you how you can match your footage to any movie reference. There is a robust step-by-step -step workflow on how you can match your footage to look like a movie of your choice. And if you just want to learn more about ACES Lite and how it, can, how it can really transform your color game, in the same link uh, you can find my free training about ACES and advanced color grading and learn more about how to grade like a pro. So click the link and see you there. The link is hovering around my head somewhere and in the description below this video as well. So see you in the free training. Bye. Yep. Yes, how do you feel?